What's up travelers? So in this video we are at Bowlegs Fish and Chips here in Lacey, Washington. And this is a place where it's gonna give us a taste of the South. I'm really excited, so stick around. My name's Anthony Harding. This is Tasting Travel. Welcome to the show. We are currently at the time of recording this video. We are at 2,068 subscribers. We're on a mission to 5,000. So if you enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help us get to our goal. So I just ordered some catfish and shrimp. Now I'm gonna go healthy and get the fish and chips some frog legs and some seafood gumbo and oh man this is gonna be an amazing meal i just know it so i can't wait so first up we got this nice little cup of seafood gumbo and oh man it looks absolutely amazing it's got some shrimp and so it looks like some chicken or some pork some sausage lots of good stuff in there rice a little bit of some veggies and stuff like that. Let's get into it. Yeah, it's definitely chicken. Just as I thought it was. And we just had some of the andouille sausage hit the ground here. That's not good at all. Good thing the table's clean. <laughs> oh yeah, that sausage has got a nice, nice little cayenne kick to it. Mm -hmm nice smokiness and oh yeah grab in some of this, the shrimp here mm. oh yeah this is a great seafood gumbo I am very excited to be eating it it is absolutely fantastic so, we also have some frog legs here, served with uh, some fries and some uh, chili lime aioli. And uh, look at that. That is, it just looks like a nice little chicken wing there. Oh man. So before we try it with the aioli, we're gonna have to give it a go straight up. Wow. Yeah, they say that frog tastes like chicken. And it's really quite similar. Um, it's got the same basic texture to it. The flavor's very, very similar too. But I tell you what, the breading here. Mm, it's got just the perfect amount of saltiness and uh, crispiness even though it's a nice thin crust thin breading it is absolutely i would definitely come back for these alone mm. yeah that frog is some good stuff let's try it with some of this aioli here Alright, so we just got our plate of food there, the catfish, shrimp, a couple hush puppies, some coleslaw, some fries, back to this aioli. Uh, let's give it another try because I kind of forgot what it tastes like. The chili lime in, in that, it is very, very subtle. It's, it's a nice compliment to, to the, the breading of this rock. Alright. 
All right, so let us check this out. We got this. The catfish here, and look at that. That breading is just great. It's got that nice corn flake crumbs, um, but it looks absolutely amazing. Then we got these, these nice butterfly shrimp, hush puppies, got the coleslaw there. It's like it came with some cocktail sauce and some tartar sauce. Oh man, this is gonna be something. We go right ahead and get some of that. Actually, it would be rude to eat it. Try it without trying it by itself. So that's a cornmeal crust and it's got a nice saltiness, it's seasoned just to perfection. Um, it's so crispy and crunchy, it is absolutely just a labor of love right here. Mm. Man, this place is awesome, <laughs> I'm telling you that for sure. So far, everything I've tasted, mm, nines and tens. That's definitely, definitely what we got going on here. I'm not sure what this sauce is yet. We'll try it with one of these fries here. Okay, so that's a cocktail sauce. I don't know if it's a, if it's a made in house or not, but it's definitely got a really good flavor to it. I'm usually not a fan of cocktail sauce. It goes with that shrimp, <laughs> like water and Kool-Aid mix. I tell you what, that is absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so this is a really tiny place. It's got seven tables and uh, four bar stools, and that's it. Um, this is my third time that I've tried to come film a video here. I came a couple weeks ago, and uh, everything that I wanted to order, they were out of it. So I decided I was going to come back. And then I came back, it just happened to be President's Day, and they were closed. So then, the week after President's Day, I'm here again, and <laughs> the persistence paid off. I can tell you that. This place is great. Hey, travelers! Join Tony on his journey while he discovers amazing foods and popular worldwide destinations. Especially when you want to wrap your lips around some amazing delicacies instead of something that tastes like a dirty sock like me. So hit that subscribe button and gong that notification bell so you can be alerted to future videos. So here we got the hush puppy here. And uh, the crust just comes right off. And you got this cornbread dough ball there. And oh man. Mm. Yeah. Nothing better than a hush puppy, I tell you. <laughs> I know we haven't even tried the coleslaw yet. Let's see. Just by looking at it, it's just your regular run of the mill coleslaw. But you know. We'll never know for sure until we get it to go. Yeah, that's just what you would expect from a coleslaw. It's a, it's a good coleslaw. Sweet, crispy. Um, yeah, you couldn't really ask for anything else out of a coleslaw, but totally worth, worth eating. Now, after I've tasted everything here, I'm not sure what I like the most because it's all absolutely amazing. I am so glad Louisiana came to me. I can tell you that. <laughs> and then this fish. I was going to get a crawfish and touffet, which is like a, a stew, but I decided. I wanted to try their catfish. Yeah. It was likely the right call, but I still want to try their antufi. The texture of that is just unbelievable. It's 
it's one of those things that's just kind of fun to chew. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really, really awesome flavor. Oh, yeah. These frog legs, though, I can tell you. Frog is such a unique... A unique meat. Like if you're more of a, an adventurous type of eater, um, definitely come and get the frog legs. They are absolutely great. Definitely worth eating. I highly recommend them. I'm just blown away at how good everything is here. This place is phenomenal. If you're in the Olympia area and you want something a little bit abnormal from what you're no used to eating in the area, Definitely come to Bull Eggs Fish and Chips. Try their entire menu. I'm sure everything is amazing. They got hot wings, they got they got barbecue ribs, they got steak, they got all kinds of stuff on their menu. Different kinds of fish, all kinds of stuff. Just come and try it all. It's it, you're you're not gonna be disappointed at all. If you have enjoyed this video please go ahead and like, subscribe, help us get to that 5,000 subscriber goal. Hit that notification bell. And as always, eat great food.